kind of felt compelled to record a video and maybe trying to explain to some of my fans and followers uh, for my project about some of the reasons why I stopped uh, I stopped making music um, I didn't fully stop making music I kept making music but I was getting bored making music that's probably the way I should phrase it and the reason why I got bored making music has to do with uh, I got tired of just using a mouse and a computer um, I don't know I just uh, it just lost uh, it's fun I think it was fun at one point but um, over the years it was the same re repetitive process and uh, I don't know it just wasn't fun for me anymore I kept enjoying music but uh, the outcome was not very satisfying so um, I had no idea what was happening to me I thought I was probably losing my inspiration uh, no idea why but uh, that's kind of how I felt uh, nonetheless I think I kept getting melodies in my head I kept writing lyrics and uh, I just lacked the intention to put them down in a computer record them um, so that's probably the reason of my hiatus for a little while and uh, it's I mean it's been off and on we had a couple of tours here and there um, back in 2020 21 2020 21 22 and 23 um, I'm sorry not 23 22 was last year that we toured no, actually, did 23. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't matter anyways, but we did tour in 23. So, all in all, um, yeah, we went out, we played, uh, and, uh, and we just played songs from our past uh, five albums, and uh, nothing really, uh, probably, uh, for the exception of a couple of songs, uh, Purgatory and Lifeline, those were the only two songs that we actually uh, uh, played that were newer than the rest of the stuff that we already had. So anyway, um, I guess where I'm going with all this is more than anything trying to uh, give an explanation to the people that follow me out of you know out of respect. I appreciate your your messages. I appreciate your words of encouragement. Um, it goes a long way uh, definitely I would love to say that that's what had me come back but th not really I mean the fact and the reason why I came back is because I found a new way to uh, make music and that new way involves not being in a computer anymore it involves uh, this keyword right here it's uh, the Akai MPC, um, some of you may know of this brand. I think uh, it's gonna throw off uh, some of the musician friends that I have uh, that are more uh, machine, native instruments kind of uh, geared. I'm, um, I'm starting to become more geared towards Akai and everything that has to do with it, including the uh, the DAW, the DAW, or Digital uh, Music Workstation, for some of you that know, don't know what the acronym means. So, um, yeah, the uh, the Akai, it's well known in the hip hop community, uh, not as much in the uh, uh, EDM, industrial, electronic um, community. Um, so it's been used for years. Um, you know, great hip hop artists uh, have used it in plenty of records, so it's very well known. It's very well known. It's uh, and I was a little reluctant at first to dive into it just because of that fact. You know, I did not know it was going to uh, do its purpose, and I was not about to change my music genre for any reason. I mean, I love the music that I make, and I think I'll 
I'll still be making industrial music for for a long time to come, as long as I can. So I just thought that the sounds and maybe uh, some of the process of making uh, music um, on the Akai was going to be way different. And yes, it was way different. Uh, there is a very steep learning curve for those that uh, those of you techies that make music in computers um, or use machine for that matter. So, uh, by the way, machine for those that don't know, it's a uh, it's a hardware instrument made by Native Instruments, a German brand. Um, so a lot of my peers in this kind of genre, they know what I'm talking about. And uh, some of them are very, um, very in touch with that kind of uh, hardware and, and, and brand. I really never got into it. I mean, I always use native instrument plugins, but uh, it didn't go beyond there. I mean, it was just uh, me using the FM7 Pro 52 um, and Reactor, you know, for a lot of my songs I used Reactor. That's kind of a drum sample machine, a VST plugin. And, uh, and yeah, so moving on, I decided in 2020, right, that was in the middle of the pandemic, I bought me a, uh, an MPC. Akai uh, Live 2. That's the uh, the name, the model name of the hardware. So it's basically this one right here, but without the keys. And it was re really cool because uh, uh, it had a it had a built built-in speaker and it had a battery, so you can basically just go anywhere with it and write your songs, which makes it very cool. You know, being able to go anywhere you want and not have to be in your studio all the time you know for uh for making music i think that we can get a little bit of inspiration from you know going out in the open going to a mountain going to the beach um i don't know be on top of sky skyscraper you know you name it yeah i never did that but you know just uh the possibilities are endless and not just having to be in a studio all the time you know i think that that's what made the made me make the move so i went on and purchased one and uh quite honestly uh yeah the first couple of weeks i want to say the first month it was a it was a very steep learning curve uh, the whole process is of making songs is completely different um you know i want to say that the way the mpc is uh put together is more for making loops you know not really for arranging songs so for arranging songs you you can do it but you know it's a different process i mean and there is a song mode that is it is intuitive it is it's not hard to uh to learn but uh it's definitely a process so something you have to get used to and so i went ahead and dove into it you know and uh the first month uh, I started putting little melodies together and it worked out. I mean, it, it, it was doing its job, um, but I wanted to get better at it. You know, I didn't want to just start releasing songs uh, just barely made on, on the um, Akai. So I kept at it. You know, one of the really nice things about it is it had a mic input. So uh, it's really cool because they have a mic input from behind, so you don't have a, you don't need the uh, a sound card or um, audio interface. You know, it just acts as its own interface. So that was another um, key element that I was looking for: just having a unit to do everything and not have to re uh, rely on other things for different. Um, uh, processes, you know, just one one single machine for everything, and and so this was doing it all. I really like that fact. And so anyway, uh, moving on, I think it was 2021 when I probably made my first song. Uh, it's still not released. Um, uh, I gotta go back to it and 
definitely uh, trim it a little more you know I mean I I just gotta work on it you know it's not it's not re ready to be released uh, so uh, I forgot the name of the song as a matter of fact but uh, but anyways so this song is kind of like the way that I learned how to really use the the, the Akai and from there uh, you know uh, like I said, we had tours uh, that we had to that we had to do. So definitely, I had to get myself prepared for those tours. So kind of stashed it away, uh, the Akai. Um, you know, I took it with me to many places, but yeah, it's kind of hard to be on tour and and be, uh, um, you know, making songs at the same time. I don't know. It kind of never worked for me. I always brought it along with me, but um, it was always just there. Uh, you know. I mean, you find other things to do, and when you're on tour, it's just like, you know, odd hours of the day when you have to go to sleep, and and so so anyway, uh, just uh, recently, you know, and now with uh, with the uh, with my newborn baby, you know, that uh, has uh, given me new life, uh, a new uh, a new reason to to be here. You know, I mean, not that I didn't have a reason before. <laughs> I had plenty of reasons to be here. But definitely my baby has uh, brought something back within me. And uh, I just love that little boy. You know, so um, um, I think uh, I have a little bit more time to uh, to make music again. And I want to make sure that I become a little bit more... Uh, active, you know, a little bit. Uh, I want to make sure that I put certain hours of the day to dedicate towards making music. Um, I guess I gotta get disciplined with it, you know, and uh, and uh, and yeah. But more than anything, I'm just really excited about uh, how the Akai has been working out for me, and I wanted to share this with with you guys. I wanted to share this with everyone. Um, I have at least uh 12 songs um you know uh that need a little bit of tweaking uh two of them already with vocals um one of them being suffer the fallen which is a uh re-release that i'm going to be making from the album in pandem back in 2004 and uh why this song uh i don't know um i think is a song that didn't really get a chance you know i think uh it's a song that I really like, uh, and I really liked back in the day, and I just uh, never played it live, you know. Uh, for some reason, I think I just played it in one or two shows. It was like the opening uh, song for a couple of gigs that we did. Uh, but yeah, I, want, I, I feel this song deserves a new life, and just like some other songs that I like that uh, are part of my repertoire, I think that I, w I want to give them a new life, try to resuscit uh, resuscitate some of them and uh, uh, try to make them with the Akai and see how this machine is going to make them sound. I think it's it's really going to make them sound badass. Uh, that's what I'm hoping and, and I, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. So uh, more than anything, I, that's all I wanted to say. You know, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm also getting myself into uh, some of the Akai forums. Uh, with a lot of guys that that know a lot of shortcuts, you know, and that that really works out when you're a a musician, you know, when you're a digital musician, because uh, the more shortcuts you know, the the more efficient you become at making songs and wrapping up things much faster, right? So um, anyway, I think I've taken almost 15 minutes since the start of this video. I don't think I'll take any longer than this. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for their support. I want to thank every everyone for, um, you know, through the years of, of keeping that flame alive. You know, I'm still here. I'm still making music. I'm not going anywhere. And uh, I'm sure to release uh, more songs more often and probably even an album, you know, in the near future. We'll see what the future beholds for State of the Union and for myself. Alrighty, well, that was it. Thank you very much for listening to my 
rant and uh, hope I see you soon. Take care.